almost no need to go downtown for an exquisite and upscale dining experience when you have Carlisle right here in Arlington. The American Style Bistro has been a focal point of Sherlington Row for 25 years, serving innovative and award-winning dishes for lunch, dinner, and its oh-so-popular brunch. Tell us how Carlisle began. Carlisle began when the Oliver T. Car Company decided that they wanted to buy out what was Jellof's department store and create a retail and dining space. So they bought out this space, created one strip of street that was some storefronts and some restaurants, and Carlisle was asked to be one of the flagships of that new segment of town, and we've been here ever since. Sherlington is not metro accessible, but it's still a hugely popular destination. What I think a lot of people don't know, there is actually a bus station right across the street from Carlisle. Um, there's also a lot of parking. If you don't know where that best garage to park in, just give us a call, we'll help you find parking. There's lots of garages and we're adding more and more parking every day. Carlisle's connected to Best Buns right next door where we actually did a shoot during season one. Do you use a lot of Best Buns bread? We use all of their breads. All of our breads that we use are made homemade every day. We do the poblano cheddar, we do the rustic Italian, we do the two raisin pecan, so we also use their burger buns and then brioche for the French toast for brunch on Saturday and Sunday. So Let's talk about brunch. Let's talk about that. <laughs> that's a favorite among a lot of people, a it lot of really locals. It really is, it is. And Sunday brunch is huge here. It's always um, a full house and, and people really love it. Every holiday, jam-packed and it's great neighborhood brunch. So. Carlisle is part of the Great American Restaurant Company which gives back locally. How does this restaurant give back to the community? Carlisle works with Food and Friends. It feeds people who have life-challenging illnesses. So we work with them on a daily basis and donate a portion of our dessert sales every day to that charity. For someone who comes here for the first time, what is a must-try dish? I'm gonna say our lobster roll. It is incredible. We have a traditional New England style lobster roll bun, buttered on both sides and grilled with the lobster salad out of this world. And you probably should save room for some dessert, maybe a little chocolate waffle at the end. It's a real, real great dessert that we make and all of our restaurants feature it's very popular. Can we head to the kitchen now? Absolutely. All right, let's go. Let's do it. We're in the kitchen with head chef Kyler. All right, first up, shrimp and grits. Yes, indeed. All right, let's get started. We start off with the, um, the grits. These are grit cakes, and the grits come from Ashland, Virginia, right around, the, right around the corner. I've never seen them in the form of cakes before. What we do, we put them in a, um, a mold, and we let them set overnight. Then we start off with a cold saute pan. We add the shrimp sauce. We add our corn relish which is a grilled corn relish, a little roasted red pepper, scallions, a little cider vinegar in there. Mm -hmm. Then we have a compound butter, which is just um, butter. butter with um, garlic, a lot of garlic in it. So it's garlic butter. Excellent. Okay, we let that, let, that, let that bring up. What we do is we bring that up, we let it reduce down a little bit, yeah. and then we add our shrimp. Mm -hmm. And then we add our shrimp. And the reason we don't start the shrimp in there and add it this way, what you want to do is you want to poach them in that. So it infuses the liquid, it infuses it in there and we have more control over how we cook them. Right. Then we add our ham. It's a Smithfield ham. Mm. A lot of garlic in there, not good for my date tonight. No, not that you don't. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, well. Then we add fresh asparagus. Yum, and it only takes seconds to cook the asparagus. That's why you added yeah, that last. Yeah, exactly. How would you describe Carlisle's food in one sentence. Wow. Well, that'll suffice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what we go for. I mean, that's what we go for. Well, let's there taste we go. it. Go for it. Wow. <laughs> wow. There we go. That's what we go for. One more bite. That flavor is great. Cream sauce, the ham, a little bit of saltiness mixed with the shrimp. Very good. Good job. Thank you. What's up next is lobster roll. We start with this. We have boiling salted water, heavily salted water, yeah. and we cook these for eight minutes. Mm -hmm. And then we end up with this. Voila. One of these characters goes into a lobster roll. We're gonna take this and twist, pop that out, Then we take a pair of scissors and we pop it up the back, and then you, what you do is you pop it, and then it should come straight out. Mm -hmm. 
cut it in half, cut it straight down. Oh, it looks nice and tender. Yep. yep. Then we take it from here and we do about one inch chunks. What's your background? How, how long have you been here? Been here 21 years. I was hired by Bill Jackson. Wow. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah. At Carlisle? At, or at Carlisle, up second floor. Yeah. Oh, so you know this in and out. I hope so. Yeah, by now I hope so. <laughs> and we take our lobster dressing, which is a little mayonnaise, celery, lemon juice, and black pepper. Now this so, is a roll. It's just a simple hot dog bun. Mmm. Mmm. There's a lot of flavor there. That's what we're looking for. This is so good. And this time of year, with the corn being nice and sweet, mm -hmm. and that, it's just it's a perfect, perfect meal. Excellent. Fresh. You know? it's yeah. It's real. It's not mm -hmm. imitation. The bun is so nice and crisp. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Very good. So what do you get when you mix rum and whipped cream together? And a little chocolate. And a little chocolate. A fun uh, date? Uh, uh, or? It could be. It could be. <laughs> we are going to make a flourless chocolate waffle. So what we start with is a hot waffle iron. A little clarified butter. We brush that on there. And we're going to add this right on top. That's the batter. Yep. It looks like two scoops of ice cream, chocolate it ice does. cream. And then what we do is we just pop that down like so. What is in that batter? Oh, I can't tell you it's that. It's a secret. It's a secret. It smells like yeah. brownie batter almost. And then what we do from here, we add a little bit of rum to it. Yes. Which will wake up the flavor. There Soak we go. That. It's kind yep. of almost similar to a bread pudding then. And we'll add a little ganache. Oh, yes. Okay. And it just kind of melts in there. And a little ice cream on top. A little whipped cream. Oh, look at that. And then a little bit of chocolate sauce. Yeah. And caramel. There you go. And then we put a little cocoa powder on top. Oh, <laughs> looks to die for. Mm. Oh my god. Good? Very oh, good. better than good. No, this is to die for. You want a good chocolate dessert? Oh, double. Very good. Thank you for letting us in, and I will see you again soon. I'm just going to take this with me. Go for it. Thank you. There's no doubt Carlisle is a great American restaurant, superb food, a friendly atmosphere, and a guaranteed good time. For more information, visit arlingtonva.tv. And don't forget, on your way out of Carlisle, stop by Best Buns next door for a delectable cupcake. Stay tuned, Arlington. More delicious bites are ahead.